Hi everyone, Kinfinity here, and here's my review of Two for the Money, directed by DJ Caruso, starring Matthew McConaughey, Al Pacino, <laughs> Rene Russo, Armand Asante, Jeremy Piven, Jamie King, Kevin Chapman, Ralph Garman, GD Want to be? So Watanabe, Watanabe, sorry. <laughs> you know, Carly Pope, <laughs> Charles Carroll, <laughs> Gerard Plunkett, <laughs> Craig Vernon, Veron, Verano, Verano, Vernon, Vernon. Mm -hmm. James Kirk, <laughs> Chris Lynn Austin, Denise Gallick, Gary Hus Hudson, Jeremy Gilbert, 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 <laughs> and Steve McKay. Steve McKay. So, my cage, great cast, really. Is. And this film is about a ex football player who got in this terrible accident named Brandon Lang. And he goes into sports calling, you know, who's gonna win? What is the best bet to make, you know, for who's gonna win and everything, you know. And at first, he's just doing it in an office and he's just has people calling him, like, who's gonna be the team to win and everything. And he doesn't think anything more of it, you know, he's just trying to get by since he has his injury and he loves football and everything, you know. So, he gets the opportunity to go to New York. And uh, he gets to work for this major sports caller named Walter Abrams. <laughs> but Walter, he's all about the presentation. Like he wants Brandon to change his name to John Anthony. He wants him to live in this nice house, this nice home apartment, penthouse apartment. You know, New York so apartment. <laughs> New York City so apartment. And so Brandon, he tries to go along with really he just wants things to go well for him so that he can keep doing what he loves, you know, with sports, something with sports, you know. And Walter He's like a nice boss at first, but you see how he just wants things to be perfect, you know, and how he wants everyone to come to them for betting and everything. And I can go a little overboard. And he has this, um, friend who's kind of an assistant who, um, gives all the new sports callers, um, Every time when Walter wants to, <laughs> you know, um, pedicures and, uh, you know, helps um, groom them. And she's really nice. And, you know, she wants the best for Brandon. And she wants Walter to stop doing some of the things that he does in order to get different sport, new sports callers and everything, you know. Don't want them to abuse anyone, use anyone badly or anything. So, you see, Brandon... He is making the best of this, getting a car, he's getting a new life, you know, as John Anthony. But you can tell he doesn't want to be abused. He cannot be abused of by Walter. And Walter's trying to just get the entertainment, you know, and get the bets and everything. But then the other support callers, they just want to get the job done, but they're not trying to push it by Walter. Oh, yeah, one of them is literally just all about stacks, all about players. And the other one is just dedicated about getting you those players, you know, things <laughs> like that, you know. Yeah, so it's all about just what's the best way to bet on the teams, what's the best way to call the shots and everything when they're going overboard. Oh, yeah, and then Brandon, he realizes what's best for him with sports. I don't want to get away, but he looks a great alternative stuff at the end. Oh, it's really good. It's not one of those films where it doesn't sound like a lot, but a lot happens. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, yeah. I love seeing Brandon 
see the success, but then realize this is not what he wants, of course, you know. And Walter getting his medicine, you know, it's just desserts, you know. You can't do things like this, wrong. Like, you can't abuse people like this just to get good, you know, good views for your show, to get good business, can't do that. It was good. I would have liked to see a little bit more of Brandon going into liking, getting more attention, getting more opportunities after his incident. Like, how was the accident? Made this seem like this was the solution. Be a little bit more to like, hey, maybe this is the solution. But him realizing this is not what's going to make him happy. You know, more of that realization. But he realizes, of course. A little more of Walter realizing that Brandon doesn't really want to, you know, be someone he's not. A little more of Walter realizing what is what really is important about sports calling and everything. Besides just the views and, you know, all the attention and everything. What really is important about the job. A little more of that. Oh, yeah. A little more of what responsibilities, because he has a daughter, and he's like, that's so he's very responsible. He's more responsible than he is with realizing that he needs to be more responsible, at least I thought. And just, you know, Brandon going for what he loves and realizing fully what it is with sports. You know, it's not this, it's something else with sports, him realizing that more. But it's really well that he really enjoyed it. It's not bad. I feel like it does slow down a little bit after the first act. The first act is great, but later it does slow down a little bit. I was like, that it. Kept the pace a little bit tighter and a little more suspenseful. What's going to happen with calling the bets? Which team is going to win? But it's suspenseful and everything. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. It's one so wonderful. One so wonderful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And these videos will ask infinity.